Last player standing. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys and welcome back. I'm just kidding. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today what we're going to do is a lot of people got Valorant. Uh, there's a lot of hype around Valorant right now with their closed beta going on. More and more people are getting keys since, you know, it's not coming out to the summer. And I wanted to make a little video today to go through the guns and which ones are the best. You know, for maybe people who are newer to the scene of Valorant and the Counter-Strike shooter meta and how all that goes. So I'm just going to go in the firing range here like I am now. We're going to go through some of these guns, which ones I think are do's and don'ts. And maybe this helps out some of you guys. And if it does, you know, go ahead and, you know, leave a like for me. But let's jump right into it and let's uh, take a look at these guns. So first off, once you're in the game, you, anybody has access to the firing range. It's nothing special. It's just like a practice. You can come in here, you can shoot bots. You come in here, you can they have a little you know target you can shoot at. Put it at a meter you want, like 20 meters. Like spray, it'll show you like where you're hitting, and you just clear it out. Or you can hit the dummy. It's like oh, I hit him for 78. So you know you can you know jump in here. And I advise you do. You jump in here and t test all the guns. You can even jump around and try the different agents or whatnot. But just jump in here and mess around for a while before you actually jumping into the games. But we're just going to go through, like, maybe I'll go through, like, the sidearms, which ones I think are the best, what people usually do, you know, SMGs, rifles, sniper, what's the armors, you know, stuff like that. So we're not going to talk about agents at all, because we're just going to talk about the best guns. So, no matter what, when you start a game, you start with a classic. It's free. As you see here, it's free. You can buy it. You know, if you shoot it a bunch, you can buy one before the round starts to get full ammo. It's just your standard pistol. Uh... I think it hits actually when you're hovering over these they'll show you stats on the right so you can see like from 0 to 30 meters it'll hit somebody for 26 in the body and 78 in the head so like 78 but at 50 meters if I can click on his little head only I don't think I clicked his head 66 so it actually does 12 less damage if you're hitting somebody this far away the odds of you know fighting somebody you know 50 meters out with a pistol not very highly so i tend to stick to things around 20 for testing just more accurate that i'm more likely to engage with somebody like you know this far away in an actual game so every gun in this game has spray patterns that's a counter strike thing if you don't know it, it's like if i try just throwing on an assault rifle and spraying it has a pattern it'll shoot some and then go up if i shoot it at a wall farther away It'll show the full pattern. This is pretty standard for like CSGO and the other games where it starts low, it'll come up, and then it'll hook to the left. Like every gun will go up and then go to the left. See, it goes up and goes to the left. And shooting is all about like maintaining the recoil and whatnot, but all right. So out of the pistols, the Klax is pretty good. All right, a lot of people, you know, they rag on the Classic because it's not like a one-shot headshot because, you know, you know, it hits people 78, and usually round one, people, you know, you have 100 health unless you buy armor, which a lot of people are doing. So usually people actually buy a ghost because their ghost will hit for 105, so you can get that one tap headshot. You know, if you actually hit it, you can get that one tap headshot for, you know, 105. But I've noticed a lot of people aren't even buying ghosts anymore, they're just buying their abilities, and then they'll pick up a shield, and the shield will absorb. You know, 25 damage plus the first incoming damage is reduced by 66%. So if somebody buys that ghost, you know, that first hit's not hitting for 105 anymore. You know, it's going to be hitting by like 80 or something or like 70 something. You know, the mass a little wonky. Also determines, you know, what range they're at. There's many factors. But basically what it's saying is it takes away the ghost's one tap ability. So a lot of people are doing that. They're buying abilities, buying armor, and they're sticking with the classic. Maybe they buy a shorty for up close. Because if somebody's up close to you, don't sleep on the shorty. If you're camping a corner, say you're holding like a site and you're just your main spot is to get one kill, maybe two if you get lucky. But if they come around the corner and they're like five meters away like they would be right here, that's 120. Doesn't matter, if, you know. That one said 180 on the first shot. So you just put it like center, pop 192. They're dead. Even if they have full armor, you know, they're dead. But most times you're gonna have the classic. You can engage with people from 20 meters. Two shots, they're dead. If you can land two headshots, they're dead. Managed to hit like five shots, you know, they die normally. If they have full armor, you gotta hit him like six times. 
So I honestly think the classic, don't sleep on it, you know, get good with it. It's better to like tap it. See how like closer that is? Because the classic spray gets pretty, you know, pretty far apart if you just hear the spraying. Whereas like the ghost, the recoil goes up. Like up and to the right. So you would have to like try to It's hard to control a recoil on a pistol. Sheriff is $800, but in the beginning of the rounds, that's like all your money, so you wouldn't have abilities and stuff, which I wouldn't advise buying a sheriff in the beginning. It depends on who you're playing. If you don't need abilities as much, maybe buy the ghost. Maybe buy the ghost. But if you like your person, maybe your sage, you gotta have your abilities, you know, you're gonna be rocking the classic. So obviously, classic, I would say, is the best, and then ghost. Because I, I value abilities over the guns in the early game and stuff. Like, once you get over here with rifles, these are more important, I think. If you miss out on like one shock bolt or something, but like in the beginning, classic. Get used to using the classic. It's gonna be your friend. If maybe if, if they're close up, I've had a couple cheeky right clicks. It shoots three bolts at once. They're kind of spread out, but I've had some cheeky, you know, boom, 104. So he's like, I only hit two. I've had some cheeky three taps where they just die instantly when they're coming around the corner. Like 182, like that. It can happen. I've done it. But going away from pistols, SMGs, um, it's pretty general that you're going to get the Spectre if you're rocking an SMG. The Spectre just has a bigger magazine. It shoots slower than the Stinger, but it's easier to control. It's got a little better range on it. It does a little better damage. So I'm back at 20. So it gets pretty sporadic, but you got, you know, if you pull down slightly, or keep it a little more close, but it's it's an SMG. It's gonna be a lot harder to control. You know your spray pattern. You know they die relatively quick. The stinger's cool because when you aim down sights with it, it's actually burst fire. If you look at all these guns, when you're you know moused over them in the menu on the right there, it'll say alternate fire, and basically what that means is when you're zoomed in. So it says zoom mode, four round burst, spread reduction. A lot of these will say that like slight spread reduction, slight spread reduction. Significant straight well it's a sniper, so yeah. Some of them don't even have a right click. I don't know if you can with the judge. Yeah, you can't aim down sight with the judge. The Bucky has a right click that's like a slug compared to you know your regular buckshot. It has a slug that's a lot tighter spread. Don't sleep on the Bucky either. The Bucky's actually pretty nice. At 20 yards, maybe not, but at 10 to 15, you're one tapping people. You know, anybody's dying if you hit that like in their chest. But the regular shot, you know, eh, 140. You're not really going to kill somebody. Maybe early rounds you might get lucky because they don't have full armor. But even later in game, you can right click somebody, you know, take them out. So honestly, I like the Bucky. The Judge is nice because it's, you know, rapid fire. You get a lot of damage out if you're in close quarters. Maybe you're holding hookah on Haven or something. You know, people come around the corner, you can just go. Maybe get a quick double kill, triple kill, you know, whatever. I feel like the guns in these games are very situational. Like all these guns have, um, you know, moments where they can excel and do the best at. But there obviously are the best in each category. I feel like, like the classic and ghosts are insane. Most people use those. You know, everybody's gonna buy the Spectre over the Stinger generally. The Bulldog. I rarely ever use the Bulldog. If you have 2100, I'd rather just buy a Spectre, maybe buy something else, or just save. You know, because if you're at 2100, you're like you're almost to a Vandal Phantom. Which is really a preference gun, I feel like, or situational. These are the best guns in the game, obviously. Right here, Operator, Phantom, Vandal, just straight out the gate. These are your three best guns. These are going to be your bread and butters. But also the pistols are important for early on. So, the you know, the Bulldog spray pattern is trash. It's all over the place. And your alternate fire is a burst. Very accurate, actually. And you can actually get one burst if you get one shot in the head. So like my third shot hit him in the head for 185. He didn't hit him in the head. 105. 185. So if you get all three shots connecting and one in the head, so you're aiming aiming at their like neck. Oh, the two in the head. Yeah, they dead. You get a nice one burst, and then they're gonna be pissed because you kill them with a bulldog. Guardian's like a budget sniper. It's a one thing headshot, but as semi fire spray patterns kind of whack too. Couple shots are gonna be close, and then it's just craziness. So you're probably not gonna spray more than five shots with this thing. 
You're probably gonna try try to get that headshot. Take it a little slow. Three body shots. But let's talk about the rifles. These rifles are where it's at. I personally am a Vandal user. I don't like using the Phantom. I see a lot of people, like the T1 tournament happened, and everybody was buying Phantoms. All the pros, if we want to call them their pros, the comp competitors, they're buying Phantoms because they like the rate of fire, and the spread reduction is a little less than the Vandal, a little cr uh, easier to control. But 20 meters, just you know, shooting out. You get about three to... Your first four shots are pretty close. Then after that, you're just jumping pretty wild. So, look at that. That's like half a second. And I had four shots on target. And it was like 350 damage. So they're going to die. Obviously, in this game, if you aim and you get the headshots, you're probably going to win the gunfights. All right? Unless you totally whiff afterwards. But the reason I don't like using the Phantom is because it has damage drop-off. Whereas the Vandal's a one-tap headshot no matter what. There's a Vandal right now. 20 meters, 140. So if he has full armor, he's not dead. But 10 meters, you know, it's 156. 30 meters, way out there possible, still 140. If I hop over to Vandal, 156, he's dead. So I'm at 50 meters, 156, he's dead. 5 meters, doesn't matter. 156, 312, doesn't matter, he's dead. I personally love the Vandal. Also, it feels like the AK, but the AK in Counter-Strike, if you're from Counter-Strike, had a really aggressive spray pattern, I'll call it. It's like your first shot was on target, and then after that, you really had to pull down. But Valorant isn't isn't CSGO. Don't get stuck in your head like, oh, I got to crouch, I got to do CSGO. There's a lot of things about CSGO and Valorant, but I don't think, you know, Riot made it different for a reason. So I've learned that with the AK, the Vandal, your first three shots are pretty close on target. My first three shots are pretty damn close. If I put that like in his chest, I'm probably getting, I might get a headshot on the third, you know, right, without even controlling the pattern. And if you just slightly pull down, you know, they're a lot closer. I'm barely pulling my mouse, guys. All right, that's like five shots, and that's really tightly together. Also, the aiming on the Vandal, like, all right, so this center spray right here. I didn't move my mouse at all. That's just me shooting four times. While well, aimed down sights, see how much closer it is? It gives you a slight spread reduction, like it says over here. You actually, sh I think you shoot a little slower. Is that right? Yes. So normally 9.25 rounds per second, it goes to 8.3. So you shoot a little slower, and it's tighter together. Whereas, let me just, like I said, guys, jump in this fire range, test it out. But. A Vandal, let's bring it close. I'm sorry, this is a Phantom. Same thing. But the Phantom shoots a lot faster, guys. It's 11 rounds compared to 9 rounds. So if you're coming around the corner and say, you have a Phantom, I have a Vandal, say I'm this guy. And we're coming around the corner, and a boom, gunfight. But we both suck. We can't hit heads. Take heads out of the equation. We're not hitting heads. We're hitting right in the chest. Four shots at, you know, 10 meters. I'm probably like, you know, 12-ish, 13-ish meters away. I don't know where this starts. If it's here, maybe back here. But 13 meters away. Four shots. I don't one hit his head. Four shots, you're dead with max armor. I'm, this gun's going to get those four shots off way faster than the Vandal. So that's why I think a lot of the pros are using it. Because maybe on, maybe Bind, eh, maybe Haven for sure. Haven has a lot, the three-site map. Has a lot more closer engagements compared to like bind where you can get more of the longer like middles maybe c long or b long a lot more longer engagements but haven is really close so haven might be like a phantom map and then maybe you use the vandal on the other maps i just like using the vandal all together because i want to click those heads it's really satisfying just to go pink and then dead but like i said this comes around the corner you know he's dead he's in the vandal you might not be able to tell the difference. If you play a game after a while, you'll definitely feel the difference. But the Vandal shoots a lot slower. So the Phantom's going to win that gunfight every time. Unless you totally whiff a shot. Or get unlucky and like a random bullet sprays off to the left or something. Or maybe you're jiggling and like you, you miss the shot. But if both people come around our corner and we're shooting in the chest. You know, the Phantom's going to outdo the Vandal like that. But Vandal one taps. So this is preference. Maybe some people put it down the maps. 
Maybe people, if you're a head shotter, you're like crazy good at clicking on heads. Man, rock the vandal. Go, you know, own everybody. Maybe you need a little help. Maybe you want to spray a little more. The phantom's really good too. If you're gonna snipe. Pretty much the marshal's useless. <laughs> I wouldn't say useless actually. The marshal's actually a fun gun. It's no scopes are on target, which is really you know cheeky. Like, it's pretty close to where your crosshair is, so you could actually, like, round one and, well, you wouldn't be able to get one round one. Round two, I've actually bought a Marshall because if this other team doesn't buy armors, it's a one shot to the body because it's 101 damage. So if they don't buy armor round two, maybe you got the wind, or the wind, <laughs> maybe you got the wind, you buy a Marshall round two, try to get some cheeky, just, you know, quick scopes in the head because this thing zooms in hella quick. Just, and you're just firing off, and the rate of fire on this thing is crazy fast. You see what I'm saying? But if you're also good at clicking heads, it'll 202 the head. So if they even if they got full armor, I've had people buy it like round three, round four, and kill me while I'm while I had a full buy round, so I have my AK or Phantom or whatever, and they just drag scope me in the head or whatever, and I'm pissed because you know the marshal's 1100. I just paid almost 3,000. He paid 1100. He beat me. Feels bad. But the best gun. The most YouTube friendly content creator, clutch omatic, awesome plays, make your team go crazy gun is the op, the operator. Just like <laughs> CSGO was the AWP op. I feel like Riot purposely called it the operator so people would just say op. So see op, one shot kill no matter what, except for the legs. Don't shoot. If you're, if you're sniping and hitting people in the feet, what are you doing? You know? You're gonna come around the corner and. You know, pop them in the chest. Doesn't matter how far they are, you pop them, hit them in the head, doesn't matter. You have a pretty nice fire rate. This gun's amazing. But obviously, as their guns get better, 4500 is not something to laugh at unless you're, you guys are doing really well. Especially with the new patch saying there's going to be a credit limit of 9000 so that's literally half your income to buy this. Then say you got to buy shields, that's 5500 You got to buy some abilities, so you're pretty much going all in to get an op. But if you pop off, it's worth it. Actually, in this recent patch, uh, I think it's version 0.5 now. I don't know what it is exactly, but LMGs actually got a buff to, you know, deal a little more damage and be a little more consistent. We've been seeing people try to use the Odin. And honestly, the aiming, if you're aimed down sights with the Odin and you pop around the corner, you might actually be able to get some really good kills. Those are people who are trying to body fight you with the Phantom. You get those first couple of shots off pretty fast. He's dead. Three shots. Four shots dead. Just don't shoot him in the legs. If you're shooting down here, yeah, you're gonna start missing. But if you get if you come around the corner and get some in the chest, yeah, the Oda might be a little nasty. But TLDR, too long, didn't read. Sidearms. Classic ghost. Those are the go-tos. If you're cheeky, maybe you're holding garage or something. Shorty might be handled too. But obviously, no range on the shorty. If somebody's out 20 yards, I just did 9 damage to him. Classic. Two shots to the head, they're dead no matter what. So I like running classic if I gotta buy abilities. If I don't have to worry about abilities, I like buying the ghost because some people don't buy armor. I like the one taps. Also, SMGs, Spectre's the way to go. Shotguns, I prefer the Bucky because of the right click. If they're sitting at 15 yards or something, right click's, you know, putting them down no matter what stage of the game you're in. Bulldog's nice, honestly. A little cheeky one tap, scare some people down. If you like clicking heads, Guardian's nice. Phantom and Vandal, like we said, it's preference, rate of fire, magazine size, one tap headshots anywhere. So I've actually had fights where I, I lose to an op because I was using a Phantom and he was out, you know. I hit him for 140, where if I would have had a Vandal, that would have been a one tap no matter what. And that, op, you know, op user is dead. So Sniper. First two rounds or three rounds, you can get away using a marshal unless you're cheeky. Uh, operator works, you know, throughout the whole entire game. Not a lot of people use LMGs. I've actually seen people use trying to use it Ares and Odin more, but you know, not something people use a lot. So other than that, guys, this is just uh, I wanted to make this quick, just go through everything. Uh, these are the best guns to use. Hopefully, you're clicking heads and going ham and Valorant. If you like this video at all, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button for me. I'm trying to make more Valorant content and just variety gaming content in general. 
His page isn't just an FPS or it's entertainment and tips and guides for everything. And also, if you want to follow my Twitch, I do stream on Twitch and I'll put all these links in the description for you. But other than that, guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you around. Peace.